Hello guys, welcome back to Kodamigo. In this video, we're going to talk about some useful adding methods in JavaScript. First of all, let me show you, I have a collection of arrays. So as you can see, I have an array of objects. There are 20 objects in total and every object has name, country and age key. In this video, we're going to cover all these methods. So let's get started. First of all, instead of using console.log, I'm going to use console.table method to print the data in table format. So if I go ahead and run this application, you would see something like this. This format is very user friendly. We see the whole object along with the column name and even the index are also printed out. Now let me define a const called people between 40 and 50 and I'm going to use data.filter to filter out some records. It accepts one callback and this function is called predicate function. The first position argument to this callback function is the value which is going to be this object. And second argument is the index that we do not need for this demo. I need to put some if condition to return some truth value. So I'm saying that if the age is between 40 and 50 then return true otherwise do nothing. So this condition is responsible for filtering out this data. Now let me go ahead and print this data. As you can see our data has been filtered out. If you look at the age column the people now we see are between 40 and 50 years old. The next program that I'm going to write is about finding the index of particular object. So for this let me define a variable called record index and by default value is minus one which is an indication that the record has not been found yet. For this I'm going to use the find method and this find method is going to return a particular object. So just like the filter method it accepts a callback function. The first positional parameter is the value which is going to be an object and its index. Next I'm defining the if condition if the object has Leonor Cameron then it's going to return some truth value. If I do not use this statement I would not be able to find out the index. So let's see how does this work. Now let me print the record as well as its index. Now let me open up the terminal. As you can see, we got name, country and age. So the right object is returned and we also was able to find out the right index. So here if you see at the table, this data is at index 7. But the problem with the find method is that even if I directly return the index instead of this truth value, it is still be the object return. So let me update the code to return the index. Let me also comment the record index variable we define at the top. Even if I am returning the index, the record going to be the object but not the index. So as you can see that the return value is still the object not the index. So if I return the false, you would see that the record is undefined because nothing will be returned from this find method. So instead of using find method, we can use find index. So let me update this code. Now as you can see, instead of using the dot find method, I'm using find index and returning a truth value and this, the output of find index going to be the index of this record which satisfies this condition. So let's go ahead and on the same program, you see that index 7 is returned. Now let's move on. Now let's talk about every and some method of arrays in JavaScript. So I have a very simple statement. It has a condition. If the value of the object happens to be greater than 18, then it's going to return true. Otherwise, a false value will be returned. So what every method would do if every object in array satisfies this condition, then only the output of this whole expression will be true. Otherwise, it would be false. So let's run this program. As you can see that the output is true which means that every object in this array has ace property which is greater than 18. Now let me write one more statement. If the value of country property happens to be null, falsy or undefined then the return value that would be false otherwise it will be true. So let's run this program. We should see the true being printed out which means that there is not even a single object in our array which does not has country. Next let's talk about the sum method. The sum method is very similar to every method. What it does as long as even a single value satisfies this condition, the output going to be true, unlike every. So let's run this program first. The output is true which means there is at least one people or one object in this array which has age property greater than 50. Let me have similar 
condition here now i am checking this if there is at least one object with a ace property less than or equal to 18 this expression going to be true so as you can see that the output is false and if you have a look at this age column there is not even a single object whose age is less than or equal to 18. before moving on let me remove this code here you see that we have the array of objects printed out and every object has a country property and what if we want to extract out all the countries so for this we can use the map method and just like every other method just going to accept one callback method and i'm supposed to return a new value out of this callback so what it's going to do this map method is going to create a new array which is going to be an array of countries so let's go ahead and let me print the country so as you can see that we have all the array of countries but what if I want to go one step further and I want to list all the distinct countries so you see that the, we have an array of countries and in this array of countries some countries are being repeated right so let's go ahead and modify this to print out the distinct countries so for this let me create a const called distinct countries and i'm going to use set a set is a collection of unique values and let me also loop over the data which is an array of objects so this value we are going to refer to the object and now what i need to do i just need to add the country value into the set and set will make sure that that the countries are not being repeated because this is what set is all about even if we try to add a country which already exists just in the set the set will handle this internally it would not have two countries repeated so now let's go ahead and let me run this program now as you can see that i have country a list of country this is a set of unique countries in our array of objects, we have countries and some countries are being repeated what if i want to create a map of all the repeated countries along with their count i want to know if there is a country being repeated then how many times that country is being repeated so let's write the code for that now let me create another const and this time this is going to be map in javascript a map is a unordered collection of key value pair the key always going to be in a string whereas the value could be any possible javascript data type now let me create one more variable and i am looping over the array of objects this statement is important i'm trying to access a country from the map if the country exists then i'm going to get the count if the country does not exist then the value of this whole expression going to be undefined in this case the value of count would be zero so if the country exists the count must be at least one or higher if the country does not exist then it is going to be zero next i'm going to set the the country with the updated value and here that i'm incrementing the value of count now let's go ahead and run this program so as you can see that i have console.log and console.table here you see that under the value columns these all are unique country that we have mapped and this is how many times this united kingdom is being repeated whereas indonesia is being repeating five times now let's go one step further and try sorting this object based on its count so i would like to sort this object in descending order of its count so for this let me define and const let's call this sorted value since the sort method in javascript only works on array does not work on map i'm using this spread operator to create array of arrays and now i can use the sort method it accepts one callback function and two arguments so a and b are referring to the adjacent objects now i can put the condition to sort i'm subtracting this value and i'm using b object first because i want to sort this array in descending order now let's go ahead and let me print out the sorted value so as you can see that indonesia is being repeated five times so it is appearing at the top and south africa and united states are repeated only once which is fine but there's one problem this is an array of array not a map but in javascript we can do that quite comfortably since this is an entry or tuple and this is an array of tuple array of entries and if we supply the same value to a map then we're going to create a new map out of this now you can see that our data Data is sorted and it is not an array of array but a proper object or map let's talk about the last method for today which is the reduce method probably one of the most confusing method in javascript 
So now with the help of reduce method, I am going to count the total number of countries we have in array of objects. Let me define another const. Let's call this total countries since this represent all the countries in our array of object and I'm going to use reduce method. So reduce method just like other methods except callback function. The first positional parameter is accumulated value and second parameter represents the value that is being iterated and I must return some accumulated value otherwise updated or latest value would not be available with next iteration. I'm also initializing the ACC by zero. Next I am adding the current value with the previous value but remember that current variable is an array. Now let's go ahead and print the total countries. As you can see that the count is 20 and as I told you earlier at the starting of the tutorial that we have an array of 20 objects. If you want to know more in detail about the reduce method, I have a dedicated video on array.reduce method. I have given the link in the description box below. So this is all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you like this video and if you are new to our channel, please subscribe to Kodamigo. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Yeah.